Alright, what's going on everyone? So today I'm here to discuss the Supreme Week 2 partial drop list and there's seven items I'm going to be discussing and I'm going to be giving, you know, sort of my thoughts, what I think on each one. So far, you know, we're going to get into that. We're going to get into what I think here in a second. But yeah, you know, I mean, Supreme Spring Summer 19 has so far been interesting and I'm about to discuss this week too. So I hope you guys will enjoy this video. If you want more drop list review videos like this, more Supreme predictions, resale videos, how not to get scam videos, things like that, it'll really help you out. You guys can go ahead and subscribe and also do some vlogs. So if you're interested in that, go ahead. And also y'all can drop a like in this video too if you, you want to. I'm not going to force y'all to do anything, but I appreciate it to go a long way. And uh, yeah, you know, we're going to start on this. We have some interesting items dropping this week, and I'm excited to discuss them, so let's begin. But the first item I want to discuss is Supreme Band-Aids. Now, this one is interesting. Uh, I mean, it just Supreme coming up with more interesting accessories. I'm not going to be copying Supreme Band-Aids, I'm sorry. I mean, maybe for the fact that it may sell some, but you know about Supreme's new sales tax, that is going to hurt resellers a lot, including me. So that it sucks that now everyone has sales tax, but I know people like in California have been paying sales tax for a while now, so nothing's new for them and it's still been selling up there. So I don't think it's gonna change too much, just, uh, well, it will, some prices, but you know, overall, I think the good items resell should stay relatively the same, but on this one, they shouldn't cost too much, and I don't think a lot of people are going to be paying too much for Supreme Band-Aid. I just don't really find it like 100% uh, necessary, but hey, you know, it is one of the, the popular items here. It is an accessory, so it will sell some, I'm hoping. I mean, I'm always hoping, you know, for stuff to sell, I'm always hoping for stuff to do well, but it is not the best item this week. It is fire, but I mean, well, it's, I don't know. I don't know if it's fire or not. It's just, they're just band-aids. Nothing really crazy. They just have Supreme on them. It's like something you'd expect, but hey, you know, it's a bit different, so maybe that's why it's cool, but if, I don't know how much band-aids cost, especially, I don't know how many are in there. I think there's 20, so it's probably like, 15 bucks, no no way there's more than 50 bucks. If it is, then it's a scam, don't buy it. But the next item I wanna discuss is the S Logo hoodie right here. Now, this is a very interesting hoodie right here. It's color blocked, as you guys can tell with the variety of colors. I'm gonna be reading them off the screen right here so I can tell y'all what they are. We have a pink, navy blue, sort of a burgundy one, and a green one, an orange one, a blue one, and I think, yeah, a black one, then a black one, a gray one, and a brown one, and then a red one, a blue one, and a gray one. So a very interesting, you know, variety of colorways. But I actually think they did a pretty good job with them. I mean, it is, like, I feel like this would be extremely hard to wear, if you think about it. Like, styling this would not necessarily be easy at all, but it would look good um, almost no matter what, I think. I mean, it's Supreme, it's a flex, it's an S logo. And if that's what you're sort of into, then there you go. This piece is something for you. And it's going to be retailing. I mean, I'm thinking, I, they did put a bit of effort in this one, as you can tell, but this hoodie's retail at 178, so that's why I probably think it's probably gonna be 178. And then there's an S logo, and it's actually probably one of the good designs, I think. You know, a decent amount of people like it. I could see it probably selling for like, you know, 220, 230, maybe more. I that's what I'm thinking. I mean, my resale estimations aren't necessarily the best, um, but that's what I'm thinking. Hopefully, you know, it'll have some, and you know, it says the S logo too has a bit of hype, but Supreme's been using the S logo a lot more recently. I mean, they've always used it a lot. I mean, they're using it a good amount I've seen so far. And not to mention they have shorts to match this too, which shorts are probably gonna be 118, I think on retail. So a bit expensive for the shorts, but same colorways really. And you know, shorts, I don't think are as good. Um, other than the red and gray ones, I think this was sort of nice. I vibe with it, but overall, I mean, those probably may sell. They may, I'm not gonna instantly say they are, but they may, so just look up at those selling. Um, and if the shorts were to sell, if they did retail 118, then maybe like 140, but I don't expect anything too crazy, especially on like color blocked sweat shorts, but I don't know, S logo, so I can't tell you too much, but so it could sell for a lot or not, but we'll see. Next up, we have the Le Lux, Le Lux. Supreme hoodie. Uh, now this one is okay, you know, basically in the center of it. All I really need to say is it says Le Lux and Supreme or Le Lux. Uh, I'm, I don't know, definitely messing up the name, but yeah, that's really all it says. There's, I think, six colorways, if I'm correct, six or seven. Uh, let me check. Yeah, six colorways, so you know, nothing too crazy. My personal favorite is probably that gray one or cream colorway, or maybe the red, one of those. And yeah, it'll retail probably 168, 178, and it may sell for 200, but it may not sell at all. I can't really tell y'all because it's really basic and really simple. I don't necessarily know too much behind it. I haven't really heard of it other than until this, you know, sort of partial dropless leak we got here. The resale, maybe decent design. I mean, it's okay. I mean, I've, I've obviously, you know, it's embroidered, so it's sort of cool. Or, yeah, it is embroidered, so I respect that. But overall, it's nothing really crazy about it. Just sort of plain. Next up, though, we have the Cloud RT. This is going to be retailing at forty-four dollars, I think, or it's it's either forty-four or forty-eight. I think it's um, yeah, it's forty-eight. I'm pretty sure, or no, forty-four. Cause I think it's fifty-four dollars with shipping. One one or the other. It's basically fifty-four or fifty-eight dollars. Pretty simple there. Now, I think the design actually is pretty cool on this one. I vibe with almost all of them, other than that sort of mustard yellow one. Just sort of is not really it. And the navy one too is just a bit, you know, navy and red. Those ones really aren't too good. But the rest of them, I think they're pretty cool actually. And I'm like the, the white one's my favorite one by far. I 
I think that one's pretty cool. And then, you know, other colorways also do the justice, you know, with the design. But overall, I mean, maybe these will sell for like 70, 75, but they're not really like favored by too many people I see. Like there's a pretty big divide. Like there's a lot of people that like them, but there's also a lot of people that don't. So, I mean, I vibe with it, but at the same time, it may not resell at all. So we have to see if it could go for retail. It could be one of those uh, tees, but you know, looking as of now, if it's one of the better items this week, then it will sell because people will try to sell pretty much whatever they can get their hands on. But it looks like there's a decent amount of items ahead of it. So I don't know about reselling this one, but if it does, then maybe like 70 bucks, but nothing above that really it's just eh. but that's the end of the video because if you think i'm gonna discuss them tims i'm not gonna discuss them tims i'm not even we're not even gonna say anything else about them all right those are <laughs> why honestly i think it's one of the maybe maybe it is no i'm not even gonna say that but it's it's bad it's just bad like why 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 what? I don't know. I have no clue why Supreme did this. But yeah, we're not even gonna discuss it because it's not to mention a trash sneaker model too. That that's that's all I'm gonna say. No more discussion about it. So that's the end of the video. Let me know what you all think about this drop list so far. I think it's not too bad, not too shabby. I think there's some good heat in there, especially with like the S logo and maybe the band-aids, you know, the Le Luke's hoodie, things like that. Uh, the shorts, not too bad at themselves. They're actually pretty decent, I'd say. But looking at it, week two, hopefully it'll be heat. We still got a ton more items though to add to this. It's a very small list so far. So let me know what you guys are copping from this. If you are so far, if you're not copping anything yet, let me know. And, uh, that's it. Y'all can follow me down below in the description on Instagram, Tristan Wick, my resale page, CLT Steals, all that. No more promo. Or I mean Snapchat at Tristan Wick. And yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Appreciate the support. And peace out.